it gives me great pleasure to name this lifeboat Doris Day and Brian. May God bless all who serve in her. <laughs> that thank you all for turning out to show your support uh, for our lifeboat station this afternoon. Um, thank you also to the band who have been in fire for, uh, and most importantly, Alison, to you uh, and your family um, for the bequest of your Uncle Brian. Uh, it's an extraordinary thing, I think, uh, to decide in your will to leave the money to buy something like this, and I hope that you take great pride that already Two lives have been saved by this boat, and countless more will be. It's an extraordinary gift from your family to our community. Thank you very much indeed for that. I know that it's not just the quests, of course, that fund the RNLI. My grandma up in Birmingham is uh, a branch chair for fundraising for the RNLI. And around the country, tens of thousands of people are committed to fundraising for this amazing cause, and they do so raising huge amounts of money each year, yes, to fund amazing boats like this, but also to fund the operations of the RNLI, and we should all be very grateful to all of them for all the money that they raise, and of course, for all of those who give it. We're very lucky here in Burnham-on-Sea to have, just over the wall there, a wonderful stretch of coastline, uh, which is beautiful, magnificent, draws thousands of visitors to our town and surrounding area every year but quite often people get themselves into difficulty. And we've got some great organisations in the town, the Coast Guard, the Burnham Area Rescue Boat, and of course the RNLI, who keep those people and local <coughs> residents using the sea for leisure safe during those times. So too do we have the RNLI's lifeguards keeping us safe on the beaches as well. Um, these guys, these guys stood in their foul weather kit who winced so visibly when good cider was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> They won't like to be called heroes. They will just tell you that they're volunteers from the community who saw an opportunity to get involved with a good cause, and they did so. And in fact, all of the people who serve at this lifeboat station are exactly that. They're people like us who chose to give their time to do this. But through training and dedication, and the willingness to turn out in all weather, at all hours of the day, at all times of the year, to put their lives in risk to save life at sea, that does make you here as gentlemen and ladies, and we're all very, very grateful for everything that you do. Thank you.